Hi, I'm Marcy Jellison. Welcome to Voice Tip for the Week. Today, I'm going to talk about auditioning. Last week, I spoke about solo performance. That's a good lead into today's topic about auditioning. One of the things I like to tell people about auditioning is that if you have an interest in a career as a musical theater performer or an opera performer, you have a lifetime of auditioning to look forward to. And most auditions will not yield a job. So you need to know that right off the bat. And therefore, attitude is everything. You want to think of yourself as the CEO and the CFO of your own organization, which is you. And organization, as well as attitude, are absolutely key. There's so many pieces to take care of. I like to tell the people I work with to think of themselves as a person who is embarking on this career, not, I'm a musical theater performer, I'm an opera singer, or I'm an artist. You're a person who's an artist, and every person needs to take care of themselves emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually. So you want to make sure that you have a very good overview of what you're doing as a performer and as an auditioning performer. There are lots of books on this topic, but I'm gonna take this time to speak about it from my perspective. One of the things I tell my students is that when you're auditioning, the people you're auditioning for want you to be excellent. They want you to be competent. They want you to solve their problem. They want you to be the right person for the part. And it's very important that you think of yourself as competent and capable and ready to go and ready to be a flexible team player. So as you're preparing to audition, you want to think of yourself not as an auditioner, someone who's trying to prove themselves, but someone who wants to contribute to the project. And in order to contribute to a project, you have to know what the project is about. So if you're auditioning for a musical theater piece, what is this show that you're singing for? If it's a production that's been done before, great. You can research it, you can look at the whole script, you can look, listen to the whole score, you can look at the history of preceding performances. If it's a brand new play that's never been done before and you just get a description of characters, research the composer, the scriptwriter. Find out what else they've done. What is their style of music making? Who is producing this? Where is it going to be performed? Find out as much as you can so that you can have some knowledge when you're going in there. Who am I going to be working with? Assume that you'll be working with them. And if you're a performer, you want to be so comfortable with the material that you're actually going to be auditioning with. You don't want to try out a brand new piece that you've never sung for anyone before. You want to test the waters with it. So that's why I mentioned in the preceding voice tip about solo performances, how important it is to give yourself an opportunity to try out material and see how it works under low stakes so that you get a chance to learn about things so that you're not surprised when you're in the process of performing the piece. You want to keep the piece fresh. You want to make sure that your moment-to-moment -moment approach to the piece has a lot of uh, fresh ideas and performer presence. But that's your job as a competent performer to understand how to be present in every moment, not to pre-plan to the point where you can't be spontaneous as you perform. So you want to choose material that represents who you are, where you are, letting people know that you're coming in there with intelligence and a good sense of yourself. Then you really are auditioning in a wonderful way. And they may not hire you, but they won't take away your good feeling about yourself. You go in, you do the audition, you do the best you can to meet these people, and then you walk away and you're on to your next event or your next research project. You let go, and that helps you stay buoyant and gives you the, the stamina for a lifetime of auditioning and experimenting. 
and people will remember you when you show up with that kind of confidence. So thank you for listening today, and I'll write more about this at my blog at marcyjellisonvoice.com. Looking forward to seeing you there.